Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 series in space. In my giant hangar! Mwah! This is so awesome. I love it. Got my CV parked in here. <laughs> all, all airtight and ventilated and see now this is why this is exactly why i built this thing so we gotta we gotta work on this thing because we don't actually have any turrets mounted okay the lighting's horrible in here because i haven't actually finished building the hangar yet i mean really really i have not actually finished <laughs> you would notice it looks completely unfinished yeah i know um, but w I do need a little bit more service in the way of lighting, so I don't know how I want to do this. Do I want to do, uh, I'm thinking these are going to be the proper way to make it look decent. Let's, uh, yeah, no, that's. No. What about this? No, see now that's hovering in the air. I want to do it on the on the actual railing sticking out because that's the whole point, right? Like it's I want to make or I do some sort of clever apparatus coming out underneath for the light. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, that's kind of a cool idea. We could do, we could do, because then we could do some like bigger lights then, some more concentrated looking lights like, like these. So if we... Well, we've got these up right here already. I mean, it's, I could, I could make it work with over there too, I guess, if we want to match it up. What I could do What I could do is make these into light towers instead. So I'm just going to do a couple. We don't need a ton. Um, I know we need to work on the CV and get it ready. We've got most of the weapons all made already. Uh, let's let's get these truss blocks in. I really, I want to, because we're working on a CV, this is the whole point of the freaking hangar. So let's make it at least fairly, f fairly functional for right now since we're working on a CV. Okay, we're going to pop this off. We're going to pop this off. So I think maybe we might change those to something. Yeah, the, well, the truss, I like the trusses. We're going to keep the trusses, but I wonder if we need to, like, start coming out. What can we do with the trusses? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Huh. So we can do the slope. We can do thin, it looks like thin angle. We could do the thin angle. So, but, but the problem is, is there's no transition to the thin wall from, you know what I'm saying? Like there's no, there's no half block transition. We'd have to like just put a kludgy freaking block right out. Poof. Or Okay, well maybe not. What if we what if we do something like and then there's a round one too. That might work better because we've got a bunch of these round connectors. Uh, 
We might be able to make this work better in the way of, uh, and then it comes out with a round cylinder. Okay, so how would we do this? What's, how is that shaped? So it's just a, oh, it's one of those? Well, it didn't look like one of those. Uh, you know what? That might be what we're looking for. It comes out. No, that's way too bulky for a freaking light. Okay, um... Crap! There's not a lot of choice for the truss. I was, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed, actually. We could, um, yeah, let's see the wall. There's nothing to facilitate the wall. It's kind of disappointing. So what if we, what if we remove the wall blocks and did a cylinder out? Can we do a cylinder out? Do they not have a bend? Hmm. That would have been very cool. Or we could just do cylinder straight out. Cylinder straight out, cylinder straight out. Literally like this. And just pop that block off. Yeah, that might be the way to go at this point. So let's let's try it. Let's take a look. We'll take a look. We can always change it if we don't like it. And we can, so we're going to get rid of those. And we're going to put the cylinder, no, cylinder block. Just straight out. And then have the light. Let's see. Let's see what this looks like. That's actually not that bad, actually. <laughs> I kind of like it, actually. It's not that bad. I, uh... Yeah, let's make sure that when we're placing these, they get the intensity correct and everything. No. Okay, so let's let's just group this up here. Um, okay, so we'll just we'll we can we can fix that after we. So I like that. Is there no transition though? Then we paint that the green, I'm guessing. Let's see. Which green was it? I think it's this green. Yep. Well, that's weird, eh? That the see that it only that part does not take on the paint. That's interesting. That part of the truss does not take on the paint. Okay. Huh. That's kind of trippy. It doesn't look like it's painted when you're looking straight at it almost, if you're at the right angle. <laughs> but in this angle, it looks very painted. I like it. It, it follows the green and black um, theme. Kind of the GTI colors or so to speak, well, I mean, there's all the slots to put all, we can just go clunk, clunk, clunk all the weapons are in. That's going to be easy. Also, we can put drills in right there too, if we want right off the bat. We probably will. We'll put four drills in when we hit uh, 
Level 25. Okay, so in the meantime, let's just do a couple of these. We'll get this one done. Oops. And then I can zap off the rest of them later. We'll I'll finish building these off camera. I just want to get some light. We're having some lighting issues here. Such a large hangar that it's hard to actually get light in here, but I didn't have any lights in before anyway, so can't really can't really uh comment until I get lights up to see if it's going to be okay. Okay, let's make sure we'll just group that really quick and then go like where's the lights? Like that and apply to group. Okay, so I think they're going in automatically with the correct settings now because that's how it used to be. Once you set the settings and then you put a light in after of the exact same type, it would uh, it would stick those settings. Okay, so we've got some light there. I mean, we could continue. Um, yeah, let's get, so let's follow this one up here. We can get, um, go like this, and like that. And like that. There we go. We're starting to get some light in here. It was just getting really hard to see stuff, especially up on the top here. It was just pitch black. Okay, so let's get let's get that row, the top row. Or you know what? Let's let's finish. These don't take long to do. Let's just get these done here, since I'm here, and then we can get the CV finished, and uh, that'll make for a good episode. A little bit of base work, a little bit of CV work. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This is going to work out good. Okay. Um, now, I guess we could do ones from the ceiling, too. And there's the... I mean, that's not a bad idea. Do the, do the like, spotlight version down. Let's take a look. Let's take a look to see what happens when we do do a spotlight. So, is there a center to this? There is no center, is there? There is no center. It's uh, it's the same. It's an even amount. Darn. Okay. Uh, oh, apparently I'm starving to death, because that's the thing. Oh, fine. I'll just eat a... I didn't... haven't cooked anything. Doesn't matter. I've got a, a hundred freaking emergency rations. So I could I can get all the way down to starving a hundred times before having to eat. So I, I don't think I'm going to starve anytime soon. Um, hmm. Not really sure about the corner. We might do something different with the corner. That's not bad. Okay, so what do these lights take up? One PU. Okay. I just don't want to get nuked by, you know, 50,000 PU of energy. They take up uh, 10 each. It's like, oh, come on. That's why I stopped doing the, the cargo 
boxes with the extensions because they're just way too power hungry. I can't I can't afford them. Can't afford them. They're just too expensive. Uh, so that's all I'm going to build in this space is these cargo. I got a plan though. I got a plan, and it's going to work using a shed for cargo and Wi-Fi. Um, you know what? This is probably good enough. I mean, this is a lot more light than it had. It's dark on the other side. I'm wondering if we can do a spotlight thing. I'm just going to see. Let's, let's just hang one of these from the roof for a second. It's probably obviously in the wrong spot, but. And then on this one, I want to go in and turn it to spotlight mode and see what it looks like. Does it actually... Does that help at all? I mean, I'm not really sure. <laughs> uh, I think we might be too far down. So let's let's see. We've got. I mean, the side lights are looking pretty good. They they work. They're they're gonna work. Um, but okay, so it's that bright, and then we. I don't think this is. I think it's too. I think it's out of range. I think it's actually out of range here. Oh. Okay, that's kind of darker, isn't it? Am I just hallucinating here? I wish I had a third person to do this. Ugh. Is that darker? Is that? I'd have to look at the video and do a, a contrast comparison. I just, I'm not sure now. I'm just not sure. It doesn't seem to have made a difference. So, okay. Well, not a big deal. We can check that out later. Um, I'm not really sure what to do about the sides here with the windows. I'm not really liking the idea of putting... I guess what I could do is I could do a little, hmm. I could change the rail on these ones. I could change the rail and so like I could go, I could do, um, I could do like a full block maybe. And that's not a bad idea blocking off the, the door from when you, when you're coming out the door from like pitching over the rail. <laughs> um, I could do like, instead of a rail piece there, oh wait, hey, I got an idea. Okay, okay. If we, sorry, I'm, I'm just imagining in my head how to do this. So it doesn't look stupid. <laughs> um, what do we got here for in the way of blocks? <sighs> we could do the truss. We could do combat steel. Do steel, xeno, xeno steel. That'd just be freaking weird. 
do concrete and just I mean yeah it doesn't need to be weight bearing it's just going to be holding up a light so I mean not to say we have a lot of lot of stuff to put but I think if we do something like this so I can because because concrete has the full array of shapes we can at least shape it right we can do something like this and then have this come out have this come out so it's a half we could do a half or uh, we don't we, do they have the half and then oh they do look they have the corner ones uh, oh, look at that. They got the ramp bottom half to quarter. Oh, that might be the way to go here. Okay, let's try this. Let's... Okay, I, I like the look of that right now. Just right like that. Once we texture it, we can texture it the same as the rest of that. The reason why I put that out there is because then it looks, we can do something with concrete right here. Instead, see, we can do like a thin, do they not have a really thin wall? A full thin wall, full thin wall. Uh, or, oh, you know what? We don't need concrete here. We can go with the truss blocks here and then we do the wall. Yeah. Like this. Okay. And then from there, so off there, we have our light. Yeah. See, that works. Now, that looks more like a light feature. Um, than a railing feature, which is good, but it's also what we're going to do is so it'll still be able to go like this, either side of it, and it'll be nice and flush there without it's flush on the outside. I mean, sure, that's not too bad. I mean, looking at it, it's like, meh. Here, let's let's texture it, and we'll see. We'll 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 judge it in a second. Uh, we want full block. I mean, already that just looked way better doing that. <laughs> it's, it's funny. Um, okay, so, ah, and that's the face that's green. Okay, okay, that's, that's interesting. I like that. Okay. Because then this is the black. Uh. 
what other shapes do we have in the truss? There wasn't much, was there? That's the problem. Oops. No, I don't want that. Just Come on. Thank you. Um Hmm. Uh, I don't see a half one. It's too bad there wasn't like a half one. Something domed. No, I don't see anything that would work the way I want. No, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just go with that for now. I mean, it is a hanger after all. Oh, did I only paint the one side? Okay. And that was that color. Full block. Oh, there. That actually is better. There we go. Yeah. I don't know, I might come up with something different for this side. I like that much better. <laughs> I really like that much better. Much, much, much better. And then with all the railings up, and that'll get painted. That'll, that'll look really good on that side. I gotta think of something. That looks... I don't know, I don't like that. I just don't like it. Anyway, I think for now, we're just going to go with that. We're going to get these weapons on because I'm tired of pissing around. We've got enough light now. Let's just do it. So let's get the rocket launchers in. Here, we can move all this crap out. We don't need this anymore. All right. Toolbar. We can get these projectiles on. I think the sentry guns are already on. We need the rocket turrets. So projectile turret, rocket turrets, the rocket launcher. Uh, do we not have a... Hmm. You know what? We don't. We don't have... We don't have a drill turret. I think... I think what we need to do is bring in a drill turret. So we're gonna we're gonna build a drill turret. So did I spec that? I think I did. I think I did. I better have. I only got two freaking points. or seven points left. And rocket launcher, laser turret. Come on, tool turrets. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> it's like, oh no, that's a very expensive one. Okay. So let's do that then. Uh, let's group this. That's fine. And we're going to make a tool turret for a CV. Tool turret CV. Okay, we can make it. Let's do it. Uh, it's got to make all the components. That's fine. We've got We've got the mats for it. Not a lot of sath, though. I'm going to run out of sath pretty soon. Sath is, is required to make all these components. So, unfortunately, it's going to be our limiting factor until we find a better source. And I'm hoping we're going to find some out in space. And then I can just mine it up with the, uh, with the drill turret. Okay, so now that we've got a drill turret going... Um, yeah, I didn't want to do any retractables because it's just, it's just the whole thing is just armor. <laughs> so I felt that if, if a weapon got blown off, we could just, um, you know, at least, at least it's still armor underneath instead of nothing. It makes the vehicle much heavier, but 
whatever. Uh, so we want the, I think I want two of the rocket turrets on the sides here. So these are the rocket turrets here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. That's what I want. So I think just right like there. One there. And one there. Okay. And then... I mean, I guess I could do all four. No, I want... I want, uh, I want the other rocket turrets either on the back. No, that doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Do we want them one right here? Yeah, I think I want, okay. Um, do we want cannon turrets or do we want mini gun? I think the cannon turrets are actually better because so damage they they do double damage, but the rate of fire is half. See three hundred for that. That's only oh wait oh they really nerfed the cannon rate of fire it used to be half the rate of fire but double the damage so technically the same amount of damage rotation speed 150 rotation speed of 120. it's got a range of 875 a range of 785 so um almost a hundred meter range difference between the two so the cannon the cannon can track and shoot can track faster and shoot at a greater distance uh, but the minigun shoots much faster much faster so that the damage per second or the damage per minute from the minigun is substantially higher. Yeah. Yeah. So we're talking Thousand. We're talking thirty percent, thirty-three percent better in damage-wise over time. So the minigun does more damage over time. The cannon turret does tracks better and um, has a better range. Now I'm not sure what the spread is. It doesn't say if there's a spread. I'm thinking the cannon turret's probably more accurate that way too. So that would, because of that, the minigun turret wouldn't do quite as much damage over time because it would be less accurate. But now I'm I'm just speculating. I know the minigun, the handheld minigun is horrible for, for accuracy. It's like the spread is, it almost makes it just, it takes too long to kill something with it. It's like, it's it's actually kind of a, kind of a shit weapon in my opinion um yeah it, it takes like half the amount of time to, to kill something with a uh pulse rifle than it does the minigun and try it out if you don't believe me try it it's it's a noticeable difference in speed anyway um hmm, all four and then we do cannons because these You know what, all, all four of, the, and then we do cannons up on the top, I think. Then we do four cannons. Yeah. 
I mean, technically, a tool turret at the back for uh, multi-tooling would be great, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I'm going to go with the cannon, even though that it's going to use funky ammo that nothing else is going to use. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with the cannon. Just It's got a better range. It's going to track better. I don't know. It's not going to... I don't know. I don't know. I think it'll just be better. And then we're going to go with the cannon here. Right up at the front or one back. Let's step it back one. Center it on there. And then underneath the cannon. So we'll step it back one and center it. Okay, so that's that's the front array. That gives us some some protection up top. I think what we need to do is do cannons on the side now. Right here. So that they can shoot down. And then we're going to finish off this with a couple of more rocket turrets. We're going to put a rocket turret here, I think. Or should we do them on the side back? No, I think... I think I want it right there. I'm gonna hmm, pull it back a bit so it doesn't get hit by the the other turret as much. There we go. Pull that one back so it's not quite centered in that space. But there's a door there, so technically it is centered in that space. It would have looked weird if it was pulled forward anyway. Okay, good, good. This is looking good so far. It's not that bad. Um, one more rocket turret. Or should I make two more and put them on the sides? Or just not even bother and just have the three rocket turrets with... I mean, we've got... We've got the one cannon turret... And then, I mean, I guess I could put a rocket turret here, but that's going to be in the way of the other, of those sentry guns. I don't see the need for it. I don't see the need for it. We're not going to, you know what? We're not going to bother. We're going to keep it fairly streamlined along the sides and underneath there. Good enough. Okay, so the drill turret unfortunately I guess what I could do is pop this off here not have the cannon turret there I have the drill turret instead okay well let's put these let's put the rocket launchers in anyway now I think these can go in all the way if I can see in there come on That one, and stop it. Oh, it's just bobbling back and forth now. Is that too far? Is that one too far? How far does that come out? Yeah, see, it comes out. Comes out right there. Okay, so one more so for some reason this one has an extra space oh you know why because it'll be a cargo container the extension so I'll just pop that forward one there we go and then these ones here so that came out just slightly 
one block ahead of that lip, okay? Ugh. Oh, these are a lot further out. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be symmetrical, top and bottom, side to side. Well, side to side, it's nice to be. But, and that. Why is that one? Does that one look like it's sticking out less? No, that's out quite far. Yeah, okay. So we can have them. I mean, I guess I could pop them and pull them out further more, but that just exposes more of them. You know what? I don't need to. That's fine. Okay, so we got rocket launchers in there. We've got our rocket turrets on. Three rocket turrets should be fine for what we're going to need this thing for. Um... Like it, even then, I don't even know if we need the rocket turrets. I get, I guess it'll be, it'll be fun to go take on some POIs and space stuff, and that's what it'll work good for. But, um, hmm. You know what? You know what? I think, I think what I'm gonna do is. Because I do got the rocket launchers, and if I really need to kill something and my guns aren't shooting at it, I can just fire freaking rockets at it, right? So let's, you know, we can pop this one off too. Um, that's fine if we have extras. That's not a big deal because I want to put this on. Because I think, I think I'll just put the drill on right away. There's no point in not putting the drill on because I'm gonna I'm gonna be using it right away. <laughs> so let's do that. And we still that still gives us a couple guns up top to shoot at stuff. So I'm not that worried. One more. There we go. Okay. And then we'll pop this on. And so we want the drill, not the multi turret. So let's choose the drill. Uh, let's get that forward as forward as possible, unfortunately. I mean, this one. I guess what I could do, you know what? I could, I could make it a. I could make it a recessed one and a retractable one. Fill that in at the back and put the slope in right there. That's not a bad idea. That's really not a bad idea. And then pop that cannon down to this so that the cannon is further forward. Although I got the one on the front. I don't know, that'll kill the that'll kill the look of it. You know what? No, let's just let's just center this right there. There we go. We'll eventually pop that out and replace it with uh with five regular drills, or I'll just pop that right off, and re and only use it when I need it, and put a put a turret back on. Okay, there we go. We got all our guns. Let's paint them up. So, um, I guess we're going to go with the navy green. Let's do the navy green. Okay. And the 
memory leak, as you can see, is jolting me around. So it's it's saying that it is uh, pretty much the end of the episode. So we're going to just finish painting these things and call it an episode. The next episode, we're going to take it out. Okay, is that it? Are we painted up? Almost. Almost. Okay. There we go. Spiffy! We got the dart rigged up. Okay, all we got to do is equip it now. We'll just, um, or not equip it, but we'll just get it stocked up. And we're off to the races. So right now, let's take a look. Let's go into the, into the, well, I guess I could have done it through Wi-Fi. That's fine. So we have, we currently have one, two, three, four, five, six of the 16,000 storage unit cargo boxes on it. We have a 200,000 storage unit container controller, a 64,000 ammo, a 56,000 ammo, a 264,000 ore wood, and a 280,000 ore wood. And eventually, um, if, if I'm not going to be mining or anything with this anymore, it's just going to be cargo. I'll, I can pop out those controllers and replace them with regular controllers. So that's not a big deal because they're, they're totally accessible where we put them. We've only got the one fridge. That's fine. That's fine. I think we could put another one in if we needed to. So there we go. There we go. It's got a ton of storage, even though it doesn't look like it. I think it's going to do pretty good. Uh, I have no idea if it's going to take off, though, if we fill it up. And that's what we're going to find out. Because we're going back to the snow planet next time and filling it up. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.